would you tell Miss Johnson, I'm Detective Medley, and uh, I've asked her to come here and answer a few questions about the accident that she witnessed at the shopping mall. Okay, just one moment. Um, I've just explained um, to your witness that my interpreting procedure will be to let you complete a thought and then render it in sign language and allow the witness to complete a thought in sign language and then render it in English. Um, and she's agreeable to that. Okay. All right. Um, ask Ms. Uh, Johnson, uh, where does she live? I live in Landover, Maryland. Would you like the specific address? Yes, please. Three forty one Brim Avenue in Landover, Landover, Maryland. All right, and uh, what is her phone number? Uh, you mean my home number or what? Could I have uh, a home phone number and a work phone number? I would need the work phone number in case we need to contact her sometime during the day. Home is 301-454-3000. And her, was that the home number or the, the work number? Right. May I have the work number also, please? Two o two. Six five one fifty thirty one. All right. Um, what kind? Of, where do you work, uh, Miss Johnson? My employment situation. I work in a mainstream school um, setting. I work in this, a school by the name of Roosevelt High School. I'm an instructor there in the mainstream program uh, for deaf students. All right, thank you. That answered my second question, uh, what kind of work you do. Now, let me ask you a few uh, questions about the actual accident uh, that you witnessed. Um, now, you did actually see the car accident.
I, um, what happened was this. Um, my girlfriend and I were shopping at the mall. Upon coming out of the mall, we noticed a blue car um, swerving and hitting a red car. Um, he was, in fact, driving and swerving quite a bit and then hit the red car and then took off. Uh, about what time would you say this occurred? Um, I'm not sure of the exact time. I wasn't looking at my watch um, at the time of the accident. It was late afternoon, um, but before actual sundown. I would say it was between 4 and 5 in the afternoon. All right, fine. Now, you said that the car was, did you say it was green or blue? No, I said blue. It's blue. Okay. Right. I didn't say it was green. It was blue. All right. Um, now, about uh, how fast would you say the car was moving? The car was moving at an extremely fast speed. Um, when I saw him swerve, hit the car, and take off during that whole series of events, it was a very fast speed. So much so that I turned to look and see the accident, and that quickly the accident occurred and the car was gone. So it was very, very fast. Would you say about uh, 40 miles per hour? Uh, uh, 50 miles per hour, could you be a little more specific? Could you get a feel for exactly how fast? Um, that area, uh, the speed limit is 25 miles per hour. Um, with the speed that the driver was going, I would say that he was going around 45 miles per hour. Now, exactly where did the accident occur? Was it on the parking lot of the mall? Or was it right outside on one of the, the streets near the mall? Exactly where would you say the uh, accident occurred? There is uh, parking at the mall in the rear. Um, where I saw the accident occur was in the front of the mall. Um, that's where the car swerved, hit, and took over in the front of the mall. Now, when the car took off, in what direction uh, was the car going? Where did it go at once it hit this uh, car and took off?
I clearly remember that after swerving and hitting the car, um, the car took off in um, an eastern, easternly direction. Do you know which street it was traveling on once it left the parking lot area? Um, I definitely know the car uh, went east. The name of the street starts with a P. I do know that area, but the name, the actual name of the street just does not come to mind right now. It begins with a P. So then it probably would have been Pike Street uh, that the car took off, not perhaps um, Cleaver Street that's at that intersection. It was Pike Street. That's what I, I meant to say. Yes, it's Pike Street. Were you able to see who was driving the car? What uh, did the person look like? Any characteristics about the person who was driving? I would say overall the thing that came to mind most of all is from the person, um, the look of the person and the way the car was swerving. The person appeared to be uh, very much um, drunk um, and that's the thing that is uppermost in my mind. Uh, could you tell whether this was a man or a woman, older, younger, uh, any characteristics on the face, any clothing that you may have noticed? I did notice a few things. Oh, the car was going very fast, so I did not get a good look at the, at the person. Mm -hmm. It was a male, um, had uh, short black hair, um, and the person was drunk. Uh, were there any other people in the car at that time? Someone sitting in the front seat with this person, anyone in the back? Um, any other people involved in the, or any people in the car? Are you speaking of the blue car or of the red car? The blue car. Uh, it was only the driver. No other one was in the car. All right. Um, were there any other people in the area where the accident occurred? I, I don't remember uh, re 
uh, investigating that anyone was in the park car, but were there other witnesses that you noticed that um, who saw the accident? Uh, there were two other witnesses. Just one moment, please. There were two other witnesses that uh, might have witnessed the accident. The first being an older woman who was pushing a cart. The second being a man who was younger um, and was in the mall area. Would you like to know uh, the um, racial identification of the two witnesses? Or would you like further information about those two witnesses? Any information that you could supply us with that would help us perhaps maybe find these people or something like that would be a great help. Mm -hmm. The woman was white and the man was Asian. All right. Um, the people who did witness the accident, did you talk? Did you talk about what you saw? Uh, did you discuss it in any way after the accident occurred? Did you talk to the people, the uh, older woman or the, the man? Um, unfortunately, I did not have opportunity to talk to the older woman um, regarding the accident and what had occurred, but my friend and I, who were at the mall together, uh, did talk about the accident. It was quite a frightening experience, and we did talk about it. And your friend is, uh, that was uh, Carolyn Smith at... Um 90, uh, let's see, I, what did I write down for her address? She is also in Landover, Maryland. Yes, exactly. All right. Now, let's see if we can get a little more information about the car itself. Uh, did you recognize the kind of car it was or the year of the car, the license plate number.
Regarding the car itself, I do remember, again, the color was blue. Um, it was either a Honda or a Camry. Uh, I believe it would be considered a Camry. Um, I don't, I'm not um, real savvy as to car makes and models, but I believe it was a Honda, Honda or a Camry. Um, it could have been a third brand, but again, I can't recall in mind what that third brand would, would be. Um, the car was going extremely fast, so I was not able to get a, uh, a glimpse of the license plate. I, would, I think it was a Maryland license plate. Again, the license plate was a Maryland license plate, but I, I'm sorry, I did not catch the number of the plate. All right. Uh, did you notice anything about the car? Was the, uh, anything different about the car? Did you notice anything else about the car? Uh, any distinguishing marks? Uh, anything different about the car itself? I would say what distinguished the car most of all was that it was a it was a brand new car as if off just off the lot and that's what made the car different. The car was new. I would say it was a 93 model. All right. Um, now, the car that was parked, um, very damaged, um, and also was there any damage to the blue car that you noticed? Were either cars severely damaged in any way? Uh, the car that um, hit the parked car did sustain damage to the front area of the car um, because that was the section that uh, made contact with the parked car. So he did sustain dam damage to the front, but then he took off. Um, so that was the damage that I saw. All right. Now, is there anything else you can tell me about the accident? Anything you notice strange either about the driver, the car, anything odd or unusual that you can remember about the situation at all?
um, not everything in that situation uh, was crystal clear to me in, because of the way in which the accident happened with, a, with, with it being a hit and run. The thing that comes to mind most of all uh, as being unusual or odd um, is the driver again. He definitely was drunk and I would say this from his facial features and the way in which he behaved while driving the car. Um, he did not appear from the way he looked to be um, having a seizure but instead appeared to be drunk under the influence. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming down and answering these questions. Um, we really appreciate you taking the time. Uh, if we do have uh, any more questions or any, if there is uh, anything else we need to know, we'll be sure to contact you. Um, Please hold, let, hold on one moment, please, oh. if you don't mind. Oh, certainly. Uh, she would like to add something. Would you like my beeper number? Oh, a, a beeper, certainly. I, I, wasn't aware that you would have one. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do have it. Let me give you the number. The number is 301-350-4448. And I also have a fax at my work at my place of employment. And the number there is 202-651-5101. All right, thank you, Ms. Johnson. Thank you very much. And let me be sure to give you the uh, number here at the station in case you will need to contact us if you remember anything. The number here is area code 202. Hold on one moment, please. Okay. The number is area code 202 582 2192. Should I call during what a what hours can I call uh, between what hours are you open? What are the best times for me to catch you uh, when you won't be involved in other things? Um, I don't want to have to get you after work. I don't want to disturb you after your work hours. Uh, what's a good time for me to reach you? Well, that number is the, is the uh, front desk number, and they'll be sure to put you through to me if you want to speak directly to me. But that number is available 24 hours a day. Okay, that's fine. That's all I can think of at this point. I was just trying to um, contemplate if there's anything that I might have missed in my explanation of the accident. Uh, if I recall anything else to mind, I will be sure to contact you at your number. I would really appreciate that. Well, thank you very much, Ms. Johnson, for coming in. Surely, anytime.